Guys, welcome back to Games Mania Doherty. And right now we are on to Controller Collection Part 2. That's right, we're on to the Controller Review or Controller Collection. And this is Part 2, guys. And we have another video right now on a little Controller Collection. And we're going to go through some uh, controllers. So the first one that we have here is the Xbox One controller. So we have it right there, okay? So it's very similar to your some of your previous Xbox controllers, such as your Xbox 360 controller. So it would be, you know, it's a lot more, the design is a lot more like the Xbox 360 controller than the, you know, the original Xbox controller or any of the other ones. So it's, it's a basic plain white. You have your Y, X, B and A. And you have the this button in the middle here. Um, you have your analog, you know, your controlling um, sticks. And you have L1 and R1, all the buttons there. That's the back, that's the front. So there you have it, guys. It's, uh, it's not too heavy, it's quite comfortable. It's the Xbox One controller. There it is, guys. That's the first one. Okay, so we're going to move on to the next one. Not too much uh, to say about that. So the next controller we have here is another uh, quite basic one and it's actually a PlayStation 2 controller. It's kind of an old PlayStation 2 controller but it's a third party PS2 controller, okay? So you have your kind of directional buttons here, you have turbo, slow, um, you know, you have a wire. So it's a wired controller for PlayStation 2 and you have your triangle, circle, but uh, X and square have kind of gone faded on it so it's it's pretty old, you know? But uh, it's it's a nice controller to have. It's just another one we said we'd stick it in for this video. So um, it's a lot thicker than your average Sony controller. Um, I'm not actually sure the brand or the company. But, uh, you know, it works with PS2. It's very handy. It's a nice controller. There it is, guys. Yep. So uh, that's it for the third-party PS2 controller. Okay, so we're going to move on to the next thing now. And the next one that we have is a very, very, very old one, guys. And we have the Sega Mega Drive joystick controller, okay? And we have it right here, okay? So it's um, it's kind of nice. It's kind of heavy. And uh, it's really, really strong uh, plastic material. So you have your joystick here. It, it's wired as well, of course. So this goes back to, you know, 1988, 89, around the time of the Sega Mega Drive. Okay? And you have these uh, butt switches here. You have A, B, and C. And um, you have Mega Fire, so for like shooting games and stuff, you have another one here. You have three Mega Mega Fire buttons, and you have Start up at the top, and you have this uh, kind of switcher thing here. Um, and that's pretty much it, guys. Okay, so that's the Sega Mega Drive uh, joystick controller. Uh, very old, but very very uh, nice controller to have. And we'll just pop that down there, guys. Okay. So the next uh, controller that we're moving on to now is the uh, Wii controller, okay? So we have it right here, and it's really, really nice and small. It's kind of like a miniature remote control, okay? Very, very basic. It's very light. You have this kind of a wristband thing that you can put around your wrist, okay, like that. So um, you have your directional button at the top, your power button. You have A, and you have home screen, and you have, I think, uh, the plus and minus, which might be volume. Um, and it's battery, you can put batteries in it, I think, too, into the back. So you also have this um, this button here on the back, which is for when you're uh, interacting with certain games. So the way the controller works is when you're playing games on the Wii, you know, you it's it's got a sensor in it and, you know, you kind of interact with the game. So such as things like Wii Sports or whatever type of game you're playing, you make the movement and the the, the game actually picks up through the sensor your movement with the game. So if you're playing tennis, you know, you're moving and it's moving in the game as well. So that's how it works, you know, with certain games. So uh, that's how the Wii became kind of very, very popular console. And uh, it was a huge thing at its time, you know, the motion sensor kind of thing. So um, it's kind of similar to the PlayStation Move, you know, the PlayStation Move was another one. But uh, this, this right here is the Wii, the black Wii controller. Very nice, okay. So we are gonna move on to the final controller in this little collection. And of course, you can see it right here. Now, I did talk about this in the in part one, but uh, we decided to stick it into this video as well because this one is it hasn't got any stickers on it. The last one had stickers on it, so it's the uh, Guitar Hero uh, controller, guitar controller for Guitar Hero. So uh, it's it's really really nice. It's uh, it's <clears throat> made out of plastic. You know, it's pretty basic. 
you have a strap so you can put it on you have your um, strumming bar here your, you got your whammy bar here to make certain sound effects and you can also use this directional PlayStation button while you're and you can actually scroll through the the PS3 menu so this is for the PS3 this is the guitar hero controller for P, for the PS3 and you can also press this button here to get your star power and um, you can also uh, I think, think this might be pause um, and then you have this kind of a, a slider here so you can kind of rub your finger along and it makes kind of certain sliding effects and then you have your your regular buttons for hitting the notes you have your orange your blue your yellow and your red and your green okay and that's pretty much it much it guys it's the ps3 guitar hero controller it's a it's a battery operated controller and uh that's pretty much it guys uh for guitar hero um so it works with all of the ps3 guitar hero games uh that's more or less it guys for our controller collection uh, part two um if you enjoyed this video rate comment subscribe um and uh that's pretty much it guys uh We'll talk to you in the next video. Thank you.